Peterson is the fullback offset. Baker back as the tailback. Play action and Cousins. One thing that Kirk Cousins is really trying to emphasize this year is stepping into his throws, and it looks like the staff that has been together for some time. So they're certainly not going to panic here at the start of this one. And again, Cousins with play action, looking downfield. And he didn't fool anybody. I think he got a little bit guilty here of locking in on the backside post. The play action is obvious, but watch his eyes. He's looking downfield to his receiver, B.J. Cunningham, and Antonio Finellis has him locked. Back in the gun. Quick throw, high play. Oh. Not showing blitz. Rush three. Join linebacker Blitz. He's picked up. Cousins goes one on one. Far side in the air. Third and six. Good blocker. Slides out. And they can't hook up. Off the long count. First down. Slant complete to Cunningham. I'm eventually is what leads to an opportunity to make a play. See how the ball is thrown behind him? The importance of catching the football with your hands and not your chest on display right there by the senior from Westerville, Ohio. Western Wildcats when they went to the Rose Bowl that year. First down and 10. Here he is backing up again. Middle's open. Got it. Virginia. Uh, this is a great touch throw here by Cousins. You got to get it over Taylor, 53, the linebacker, but you have to throw it tight enough that the third down and four. Cousins fires for the first down. You know, Herbie Todd McShay, more out of Detroit, number 80. Deion Sims has three touchdown catches. Now play action. Cousins. Cousins stands tall. Got a man wide open. Come pushing him. He comes out. And then down the sideline, he gets lost in coverage. And I'll tell you, we just talked about Sims, but Lithicum is at 6'5", 245 pounds. And that's about... One of the defensive linemen. He is number 95. And Cousins is going to throw for it. Straight back, fired, complete. Cunningham breaks free. Touchdown. Sparty's going to take it. But the patience by Cousins was the key. Gave up 14 unanswered. Answered with 16 unanswered of their own. But you go back to this touchdown, and, and here's B.J. Cunningham. He's going to run an option route, and he's going to have to work to eventually find the opening. They clear Martin, tight end out in the flat. But watch the veteran quarterback, Cousins, and watch how Cunningham works to find that opening. The defense loses him in coverage, but it's the communication and the rhythm between a veteran quarterback and a veteran receiver that have been working a lot of years together that came through there on fourth and short. Great execution. For this third down play, Cousins looks for him, throws to him, first down. Here it comes. Back down. Badgers against the linebacker. Baker back in as the running back for Kirk Cousins. Play action, first down. Borland after the quarterback, sacks it. Third and 15. Let's see if Cousins tries to go more downfield, though. In trouble, steps away, so he will drop it off underneath to the tight end and short of the first. There's not a crank going to hold him back. <laughs> so Cousins is there. Flares the pass to Bell. And Bell. Quick strike to the outside. And when they brought the blitz from the boundary, there are two Michigan State receivers matched up here against just one defender here once it once the receiver comes in motion martin comes in motion finellis is going to come on the blitz and by the time he read for the quarterback on first down there's that quick strike to cunningham on the outside he's got him one-on-one -on -one. that was just a read ball team here's third down and four they got a bunch over on the right now cousins has bunched his receivers looks away from it and throws for the first down he seems to be settling in, and there's big Deion Sims again on third down. It's the second time we've seen these eyes of quarterback Kirk Cousins look for the big guy. It's a mismatch, 6'5", 275 pounds on third. Third down and 11. Got the man open and dumped it off to Martin. Turns the corner. 
Cousins will go into the gun. Borland shows pressure. Can't get there. Throw for a tough throw. Great catch. Great catch by Beach. Down of the game. 13 plays, 80 yards, seven and a half minutes taken. And Wisconsin took four pursuit angles to give Martin the corner and the touchdown. Now watch B.J. Cunningham. Beautiful grab. Uh, this Mart is lined up to the inside. He's just going to sit down here. I really believe that, was, that Michigan State thought that Wisconsin would make the play. But watch Cromartie, the poor angle that he takes there. Gene, the freshman corner, is in. He also... Noting are the two tackles. So they bring the clock down. Play action. Cousins is in a foot race. Now he gets to the outside, and that's legal where he threw it out. Linebacker Blitz is picked up beautifully. Income. And when they saw motion, listen to this. Screen. Hear that? They're yelling screen right there. So right away, look how Taylor, all the entire defense, went right to Bell as soon as he went out there to... Big 15 yards, and Cousins is going to come up throwing on first down. Oh, that could have been picked at mid... Cousins, and it's deflected. Play defensively. And if you can't get to the quarterback because he's getting rid of the ball quickly, Nizegwu that time gets his hands up. He's 6'4", actually gets some decent penetration. What you love to see from Wisconsin, tight coverage there. And the Badgers are determined. Cousins is going to throw again. He's in trouble. Sack. A 300-pound sophomore. And Brett watched the two linebackers as Cunningham, again, on the option route. This was successful earlier for a touchdown. Watch Cunningham try to work to the middle. This time, both linebackers take that away, and it gives Hemer time to get in there. Cousins was locked into Cunningham on third down. The line... And Bell is the running back. Swing to him. A one hop. And then maybe have a shot themselves at a winning field goal. Yeah, and Welsh has kicked a 57-yarder in his career. So here comes Cousins. Fires and... ...them established to get things going with the tempo. Cousins. Steps fumble! And Spartans, I believe, recovered it. If the His decision-making, here's a poor decision. Before this... He was waiting and waiting and waiting in the two-minute drill. It's not the down that's so important. It's you have down at the bottom. Cousins throws underneath, and there's B.J. who Herbie came. Third and seven already on this drive. Cousins inside shovel pass. Got the first down. Starts the move. We're down to 20 seconds. In the middle, here's Bell. Bell trying. Got that timeout if they should fail to get this first down. Rolling back, throwing, incomplete. Now we are down to four seconds. Interesting call where they rolled out. Henry does not interfere with him, even though the crowd wanted the call, but the Jared Abradaris back there instead. Three man rush. Cousins. On the last play of regulation, chucks it to the end zone. Caught! Michigan State's caught it on a rebound. Tut, hold on. It is just short of the end zone. Ball was caught by Keith Nickel. Take a look. Abradaris gets in the air and gets a hand on it. Nickel is right in the front. It comes right into his hands. Does the ball cross the plane? Taylor is fighting like crazy to prevent it from breaking the plane. Boy, it, it was really close. Really close. Look at Abradaris gets up in the air. The ball goes off of Sims and Cunningham. Nickel is right there. And Taylor's doing everything he can to keep the ball away from breaking the plane. So instant replay will decide it. Remember, the call on the field is no touchdown. Indisputable to turn this over. Remember that. As Nickel was battling and Taylor had him wrapped up. The one-time quarterback... 
caught the ricochet. Take another look at this now. This is what instant replay is doing. You be the official. I mean, Brent, it is right at the line. After further review, the runner did cross the line. Touchdown, Michigan State. 